Dakota Godby and Shania Twain are in perfect harmony. The Today host joined the Grammy winner on stage at her Madison Square Garden show in New York City on Tuesday and sang her hit, You're Still the One, with the country star. I still wanna The 58-year-old also surprised her pal with a double diamond platinum record for her 1997 breakthrough album, Come On Over, which made country music history as the highest selling album by a female artist. This moment with all of us right now marks 25, 28 year anniversary of the release of Come On Over. I'm actually announcing the reissue of this album. After their duet, Shania praised Hoda and gushed about their friendship. Hoda is one of the most sincere and beautiful people I've ever, ever met. Um, so this is like a, that was a very cherished moment, Hoda. Thank you so much. In February 2023, Shania told Access Hollywood all about how she became friends with another A-lister, revealing when she hit it off with Harry Styles. I, I have read that you and Harry have this uh, ex this text exchange. Yeah. And how did it, how did you two first meet? How did you first come about uh, being in touch with each other? He was having a concert, and I um, I was in the same town. I believe it was New York City, and. Um, he had like 15 concerts in New York City. He had like... Early on though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this is much earlier on. Like we've been texting now for, you know, several years now. Oh, wow, okay, okay. So, he wasn't the, the Harry Styles he is now. He was still, <laughs> I'm saying, but right. he was well on his way. But I mean, you know, now he's like a different Harry Styles. I did, yeah, agree. Same but different, you know what I'm saying? Yep, yep. Um, so we met backstage and uh, he was very easygoing. It was very lovely and very, um, just very easy. Yeah. And we exchanged numbers. Okay. And then he um, calls me one day and says, would you um, call my mother for her birthday? I think I, I, he wanted me to sing or something. Oh, like a birthday message. Phone. Yeah. Like a shout out on the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. And so I did that. And I think he was just always... Um, just really grateful for that and thankful for that. Mm -hmm. And uh, we stayed in touch and uh, since then, um, just like random things, not, right. you know, nothing professional. So. And so then he just hit you one day and yeah. was like, hey, so I'm doing Coachella. And yes. I was wondering, really? Yes, would you come on the first weekend? And I said, well, I can't come on the first weekend, but I'll come on the second weekend. Right. And he was okay about that. He was very polite about it. And then, uh, but then, you know, a little time goes by and he goes, you know, I really, really, really want you to come on the first weekend. Right. Um, and I'm thinking, gee, you know, I mean, well, I thought, well, you know, he's got the two weekends, the two. And I thought, well, that's, I, I wasn't really sure what difference that would make. Yeah. You got to be there. But you gotta be it there mattered to, know. to him. Yeah, so yeah, I yeah. think what it was was that it mattered to him mm -hmm. um, that it was that weekend and um, that first show. And uh, I thought, well. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out of my way and, and do it. Um, and it's Harry, and he's, he's a lovely guy. I mean, he's one of the best. He, he's you know, such a sweetheart. He is. He yes. really is. I, yeah. I agree with you. It, is, it yeah. has been my experience that he is as well. I've had a couple of really great conversations with him, even like after, at the after, after party at SNL. <laughs> you know, where things get a little sloppy. Ah! He still had great conversations, you know what I'm saying?